As my contest draws to a close, I have a few more submissions fighting for that ever-coveted first place prize of $100. Today's Pokemon Theory is going to be from Lit Mitten Media, and they are detailing and discussing why the self scope is only necessary in Generation 1. Now, there have been many theories on this, but this one in particular is a pretty decent take on it. So remember to vote for each Pokemon theory submitted to us in the contest format with a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you think they deserve the $100, and a thumbs down if you didn't and you don't think they enjoy it. Now, Lit Mitten Media, you're going to have to go ahead and explain why the self scope is only necessary in Generation 1. And and hopefully, you did a good job. Greetings from Litmit Media. My name is Nick, and today we're going to tackle something that I don't think I have ever heard anyone talk about. Why the Sylph Scope is only necessary in Generation 1. See, in Generation 1, when you get to Lavender Town, the main attraction is obviously going to be Lavender Tower. It's basically the only thing that's inside the town. A tower that houses the graves of countless Pokémon. Many visit it daily to pay their respects to the Fallen, as stated in Fire Red and Leaf Green. It said that Team Rocket was in the tower, causing a ruckus. And a local man named Mr. Fuji took it upon himself to try and stop them, and he ends up being taken hostage by Team Rocket. It's up to you, as the protagonist, to save him. But every time you encounter a Pokemon, it shows up as an unidentifiable ghost. Your partners will be too scared to move in battle. You can keep going, but at some point, a spirit will tell you to go away. So you make your way to Celadon City and you infiltrate and dismantle Team Rocket's Game Corner hideout and get a real nifty item. This item is called the Self Scope. See, this item can identify ghosts and make the unseeable Pokemon visible. Now you're able to run through the tower and encounter the Pokemon in the upper levels. My question is a simple one. Why do you need this item in Gen 1 Kanto? When in every other Pokemon game, you don't need it to identify ghost Pokemon. Is the self scope technology integrated into newer Pokedex models, making this item invalid? Is it just a plot device to keep you from moving too fast in the game? I think it's a little deeper than that. See, I feel that it has to do with the most heinous, the worst act that Team Rocket has ever committed. And no, I'm not talking about the game corner. I'm talking about the death of Marowak. Team Rocket upset the restless mother of Cubone. I believe that the ghost Pokemon became affected by her negative emotions. This caused the surrounding ghost type Pokemon to become more volatile. They act less like Pokemon and more like actual ghosts. It's implied that the spirits of the tower possess the Chandler class of Pokemon trainers. And this makes them say some pretty sketchy things. Some even apologize after the battle for this exact reason. It isn't until you defeat Marowak and put its soul to rest that you'll be able to attempt to save Mr. Fuji. Honestly, all that's in your way at that point are a few Team Rocket grunts. But what do you think? Is the self scope a plot device to hinder you from moving faster in the game? Is self scope technology used in Pokedexes making that item invalid and really of no use in further generations? Or is Woodacrit at Lavender Tower an unfortunate, unnatural phenomenon?